Bell II Lodge. It's on the Cassiar Highway, way up in the British Columbia backcountry. Beautiful lodge and really cool people that run it. We are at Last Frontier Heli, way up north BC. It is February 11th. We're shredding with Kazoo. First day out, we're not really sure what to expect. So we're just gonna see what we find, see what our nozzles bring us to. They got a bunch of cross country skiing trails and there's the river that runs right there. We were really happy to spend down days, you know, just chilling in the hot tub. And then, you know, we could really prepare for when the weather got good. A lot of riders have tricks and things set in their mind that they want to do and they don't even think about snowboarding, you know. When Jake looks at the mountains, he just thinks of it differently and, you know, if he sees a jump spot, he wants to do a line into the jump. He doesn't want to just go build a cheese leg. That's the beauty of snowboarding is it doesn't have to be this one like set in stone thing like you have to do this. You have to go build a jump and get a double cork. Like it can really be whatever you want. This is why we do this. It's so beautiful. Riding with somebody like Jake really brings that out in, in my riding, which is really cool. We didn't go into the project saying that we weren't gonna build any jumps, but it was definitely like we just wanted to go out and ride and, and try and not build too much. <laughs> we don't even have to snowboard anymore. We just walk around. <laughs> it was crazy to just fly up five minute bump from the lodge and you're right there at this unbelievable wind lift. The best feature I think I've ever seen. Some people will spend a full day building a lip like that and Mother Nature just produced that on her own. That wind lip has worked. Better hope for some snow. We had been sitting for so long waiting for the sun to pop. We were really anxious to ride. There was a lot of pressure to produce at the same time. Both helis were flying. Hey, so is everyone ready? A lot of money being thrown around. Well, should we hit it? You gotta try and not let the pressure get to you. You wanna go first? Not really. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, shoot. Rock, paper, shoot. I felt the jump out for like two or three tricks beforehand and then I just went straight into the double core front end. I guess I was thinking I just wanted to make a really good movie and I wanted to stomp some sick tricks with Kazu and get some good footage under the belt. We wanted to make sure that we produced. I was probably going about it not the right way. We should have felt out the snow conditions a little better, but uh, we didn't, and I paid for it. Lesson learned. Shoulder just popped out. Definitely the low point in the whole two years of filming. I ended up hurting my shoulder really bad. I dislocated it. And I tried to ride a little more afterwards. I thought maybe it didn't pop out too bad. Ah. It popped out again and then I knew I had to go in for surgery. So I had a good nine months to really get my head and my body back in shape. Originally it was supposed to be a one year project. With me injuring my shoulder, we just weren't able to get enough footage to feel good about putting a film out the first year. And so we just had to turn it into a two year project. The, the sponsors were all amazing. They supported the full way through. I feel like I've got, you know, the best sponsors in the world and the whole crew, they all stuck behind it and they were in it for the long haul. 
I say it in the film later on, it's like everything happens for a reason. Personally, the second year for me was the best year I've ever had on my snowboard. And I believe it was from my injury, that's why we had such a good second year. Everyone in the crew wanted to get back up there, including me. And that was a lot of what I was thinking about the whole time I was healing my shoulder after surgery. We got off the last frontier in April. We sat for two weeks, and then we finally were able to hit this feature. I didn't want to roll back up to that feature and then get broke off again. That was like my worst nightmare. It felt really good, you know, the first couple tricks we were able to land and I knew that the snow was better and the lip was a little better too. Everything, the whole second year going into it was much better. And after sessioning it the whole time, I realized that it was actually April 14th, exactly a year ago to the day that I had gotten surgery that we were able to hit the lift. 